They say experience is the best teacher, which we can all relate to, and it's for pretty much everything in life. So, when it comes to retirement, getting advice from folks who've already retired can be super helpful. They can help you steer clear of common pitfalls and show you how to make your retirement years truly happy and fulfilling. There comes a time in everyone's life when you just want to put your feet up, kick back, and live stress-free. And for most people, this is how they picture retirement. For most folks, retirement planning is about more than just stashing away some cash. You've got to think about things like your lifestyle, family, and health, too. Before you take the plunge and leave the workforce, it's important to really assess where you're at and what you'll need to live your best life in retirement. After all, only you can decide when it's time to call it quits and spend the rest of your life on some tropical island, sipping cocktails, soaking up the warm sunshine, and gazing out at the ocean. If that's your dream. Now, none of us have a crystal ball to see into the future, but that doesn't mean we can't plan for an amazing retirement. No matter if you're aiming to retire early or later on, the best advice often comes from people who've already retired. They've been there, done that, and can give you the inside scoop on what to expect. So, if you're looking for some wisdom, here are 8 common tips retirees love to share about retirement planning. Tip number 1. Envision the lifestyle you want Retirement can be pricey, so it's important to think about the kind of life you want to live once you're done working. Start by figuring out your retirement goals and make a plan. They say you need about 70-90% to of your pre-retirement income to maintain your lifestyle, so planning ahead is key. Take some time to estimate your monthly expenses in retirement, including housing costs and any debts you might have. This will help you determine how much money you'll need to keep living comfortably after you stop working. If you're just beginning to think about retirement and could use some guidance, consider talking to a financial advisor. They can help you figure out how much you need to save and create a plan to ensure you have a steady income during retirement. That way, you can cover your bills and still have a little extra for the fun stuff. Once you know your needs, it will be easy for you to structure your savings. This takes us to the next tip. Tip number two, start saving. A lot of folks make the mistake of not saving money regularly because they think they need a ton of cash to start. But that's just not true. You can start saving little by little, whether it's every week, every two weeks, or every month. You don't have to put away a huge chunk of money right away. Start small and save more as you go along. It's especially important to save for retirement, so you have a safety net when you're done working or want to reduce your hours. If you're already saving, keep up the good work. If you haven't started yet, make it a priority and begin as soon as you can. Create a plan, set goals, and stick to them. Remember, the sooner you start saving, the more time your money has to grow. Tip number three, learn about your employer's pension plan. If your employer has a traditional pension plan, it's a good idea to find out if you're covered and how it all works. Ask for a statement of your personal benefits to see how much it's worth. Also, check what happens to your pension if you switch jobs and see if you have any benefits from previous jobs. Don't forget to find out if you're eligible for coverage under your spouse's plan too. If your employer offers a retirement savings plan, like a 401k, make sure you sign up and contribute as much as you can. Your taxes will be lower because your company contributes too, and having automatic deductions makes it super easy. Over time, compound interest and deferred tax payments can really add up. So, get to know your plan, figure out how much you need to contribute to get the full employer match, and how long you need to be a part of the plan to keep that money. Tip number four, open an individual retirement account. If you are self-employed or your employer does not have a retirement savings plan, consider opening up an individual retirement account, also known as an IRA account. An individual retirement account, IRA, lets you save money for the future while offering some nice tax benefits. You can contribute as much as you're comfortable with, even starting small if needed. 
There are different types of IRAs, so your contributions and withdrawals are taxed based on the option you choose. Plus, your post-tax returns depend on inflation and the type of IRA you have. What's cool is that you can set up an IRA to automatically transfer money from your checking or savings account right into your IRA account. Individual retirement accounts are designed to be long-term savings vehicles for retirement, so withdrawing funds before retirement reduces your savings, hurting your retirement assets. That's why, generally speaking, you can't take money out of your IRA account before you turn 59 without a substantial tax penalty equal to 10% of the funds withdrawn in addition to regular taxes owed. Tip number five, don't retire early. The thought of early retirement is so tempting, especially if you've been financially successful throughout your career and are in a position to retire earlier than you had initially planned. But the truth is that you need to save enough money to make your early retirement dreams come true. So, once you have a plan, give yourself enough time to make enough money and reach your other goals. While it often sounds nice to stop working early, you might not be able to do so without a retirement plan, huge savings, and the right investments. The truth is that transitioning into retirement can be much more expensive than many realize. Therefore, you need enough money stashed away. Otherwise, you might be stuck with a fixed income and have trouble making ends meet. If you need help figuring out where to start, contact a reputable financial advisor for advice. They'll review your finances with you and let you know if you can retire early or need to keep working for a while longer. Tip number six, grow your money by investing. If you delay retirement and choose to spend your time making more money, don't just save the money, invest it wisely to make it grow. Your saving practices are just as important as how much you save. Several factors, including inflation and the kinds of investments you make, significantly impact your retirement savings. Therefore, you must learn basic investment principles before you can start. Find out how your savings or pension plan is invested. Dive into the investment options available in your plan and don't hesitate to ask questions for a clearer understanding. Spread your savings across various investments because diversifying helps reduce risk and boost your potential returns. Keep in mind that your investment strategy might change as you age or as your goals and financial situation evolve. Being financially educated will make it a whole lot easier for you to make smart investment choices. Tip number seven, review your finances and make adjustments. Another way to build up your funds is by taking a close look at your finances and adjusting your spending to better fit your needs and retirement goals. If you're carrying any debt, like credit card balances, auto loans, or student loans, it's important to pay them off. Those debts won't just vanish when you retire, and getting rid of them will give you one less thing to stress about. Tackling them while you still have a steady income or job will be much easier than trying to handle them once you stop working. To pay off your debts more quickly without taking on additional loans, one, consider cutting back on expenses like rent, car payments, and other discretionary spending. Two, if your current living situation is costly, think about downsizing to a smaller home. Three, look for a more budget-friendly option, particularly when it comes to property taxes. Alternatively, if you have a large home, you could rent out extra rooms to bring in some extra cash. Tip number eight, invest in your health. Though it's hard to imagine your health deteriorating as you get older, the truth is that most of us will need some kind of long-term medical care when we retire. In fact, one study reveals that people who reach 65 today have a 70% likelihood of needing some sort of long-term care in the future. Costs for healthcare in retirement can be high, but if you save now, you can build up enough money to pay for these costs in the future. Whether or not your health is great right now, you should take action to ensure your health doesn't get worse. In addition, because health status changes with age, you must take care of yourself to prevent the risks of any medical complications. Fortunately, there are many ways to do this, such as working out, eating well, and getting enough sleep. 
However, it's also essential to have a primary care provider who can help steer your health in the right direction. If you're interested in purchasing long-term care insurance, you should also look into these policies as soon as possible to get the best rates. Planning for retirement doesn't have to be unpleasant or stressful. All that's required is transparency and honesty. In this video, we wanted to help you make plans for the future with confidence, knowing exactly what you need to do to achieve your retirement goals. Hopefully, the tips mentioned will be beneficial. However, while they are meant to point you in the right direction, you'll need more information. So, do some research, read books and articles, and talk to your employer bank, union, or financial advisor to get practical advice. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and staying with me till the end. If you have any comments or thoughts you would like to share, please do so in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Lastly, remember to like and share this video with your family and friends, and remember to subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, have a lovely day.